Guess what, motherfucker? You die! Hello everybody, this is Cash over here, and welcome back to more Let's Play Sly 2 Band of Thieves. In the last video, we went on that ag- Oh my god! Yeah, we went on that ag- Oh my god. Okay, uh... No! Oh. No! Last video, we went on that agonizing mission to... Pick the contestants' pockets. And in this video, well, I'm hoping to get these last three Sly missions done, so... Let's get started. Sly, those giant pipes under the bridge feed power to the prison security system. I'll need to cut the connection to free Murray. Sounds like a plan. What do you need me for? As you know, the bridge is heavily guarded. I hear you. You'd like a little protection while you place the bombs. That's correct. Love to help out, but there's nowhere to hide on the bridge. We're totally exposed. That's true. To fool the guards, you'll need to break those statues and take their place. I pose like a statue, the guards walk on by, then POW! I hit them from behind. You're a genius. That's also correct. <laughs> also, shouldn't, uh... Well, I guess we can just do this too. Ah, oh, damn it. There we go. I'm done here. Follow me to the top of the bridge. That's weird though, it wouldn't let me pose like that. I guess you can't on those. Oh, they're coming from behind. And, yeah. Well, he is making the same pose, I guess. But still, it should be obvious to guard that, hey, this is not a regular statue. But then again, these are also the same guards that don't notice <laughs> that a TNT bomb was right in front of him when it wasn't there like two seconds ago, so... I'm done complaining about the stupidity of these guards. I'll just accept the fact that they're fucking idiots. Oh, shit. Shiny. Shiny. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get it in time before he gets to Bentley. Okay. And now you die. Uh-oh. This bomb's all set. I'm moving to the next stress point. Yeah, go fight them. Uh, let's hurry up and get over there. Got another one in place. Heading back across the bridge. With the flashlight guard, you probably want to get as close as you can on these statues, just because, you know, it'll give you more time to take them out if they have a shiny pocket and you're greedy. Oh, yeah, bats. Alright, let's go. Oh. I forgot what's the ability. The voltage attack. Makes this. <laughs> this makes these. This, it makes such quick work of these guards. Especially when you got this dumbass. Uh, where are the enemies at? Oh, there he is. I was like, what the hell? <laughs> oh, I can get into that one time. This might be the last guard. He's got a shiny pocket. Mine. That's why I picked a pocket. Another gold medal. I don't know what the hell these birds are winning gold medals in. Holy shit. Oh, I wasn't going to be able to get you. So. God, man. That's broken. And you know what? 
Okay, I like how they actually keep the vulture attack when you go into the statue. <laughs> it makes it look badass. And... A shiny pocket. Die. Another guy behind me. Yep. Yeah, all in all, a simple mission. Kind of boring. It. Ooh. It is a good, this is a good mission to get some money, though, if you keep getting lucky and have, uh, shiny pocket guards. A gold pocket watch. And that'll do it. The last charge is set. Let's get out of here. Nope. You definitely got blown up by those bombs. I don't care, Bentley. You and Sly just got blown up. Okay, with that mission done, I believe the last two are inside the castle. Oh, goody. Okay, what the hell? You were definitely not there the moment I got on top of this fucking building. Anyway... I'm going to cut footage right here and... Oh, come on. I'm going to cut footage right here and I will see you guys inside the prison. Did I get him in midair? Holy shit. Alright, I'll see you guys then. <laughs> he fell right through the fucking boat. What the hell? Okay, made my way inside the prison. Now I just gotta figure out where these missions start at. I see another clue bottle as well. Oh, with more enemies. Oh, what the hell. D he, he almost jumped up here, holy shit. Oh, come on. He was literally lower than me, and that's why I couldn't hit him. There we go. One there and one up there. There's also a, a clue bottle under that platform. Okay. Which one do we want to do first? Do we want to do code capture or lightning action? I say we do code capture. It sucks though because both missions are going to take us out of the prison. So we're going to have to bust our way back in here once we're done. Oh well. I'd love to, pal, but I have no idea what you're talking about. All right, I'll explain it to you one piece at a time. See that security station? The guard nearby is responsible for its upkeep. I'm with you. First, I'll need you to pickpocket his key to the terminal. Sure, no problem. Then use it on the security station to set off the alarm. Hold up. You want me to set off the alarm? Yeah, set it off, then clear out as the guard's sure to come running. Once he sees that it's a false alarm, he'll input the code to turn it off. So you want me to take a picture of the code? Move to a safe place and get a clean shot of that digital readout. Should I hit all the security stations out here? That's right. Once I've got a large enough sample of the Contessa's codes, I should be able to crack her encryption algorithm. Uh, now, see, you lost me again. Just take the pictures. I'll handle the rest. Shit, not even I know what the hell he needs his her encryption algorithm for. But we must do as the plot requires, so let's pickpocket this key. Nice work. Now use that key to set off the security station. And get up high. Mainly back here to where, you know, you started the mission at, but... And now we play a little waiting game as we slowly wait for the guard to get over here. Because he is taking his sweet-ass time. Look at this. If someone's setting off a damn alarm, I am not walking that slow. 459. And I believe the last three are outside the prison. So you got one there, one there, and one over... Yeah. 
So, yeah, we will have to bust our way back in here, but I'll see you guys at one of the codes. Oh, it's up there. I was like, where the hell was that clue bottle at that I just saw? But it is right here. Alright, we got a guy down here. Do we need to make noise or... I'll try and pickpocket him right here. Well, that works too, I guess. But now we have to make noise. Because he is standing right in front of the terminal box. So... That should be good enough. Alright, this one you really gotta move. Because I think you have to get over here, I think, on this one. Well, this works just as well. Jesus! Just agonizingly slow. Oh, Bentley, I hope you can see that. Definitely looks like 101 to me. And with that, and with this clue bottle, we are halfway done with the mission. Almost two-thirds of the clue bottles collected. Actually, there's one right up there. I can get back up here. There we go. So, also, I need to make note of this, and I can't believe I actually got that clue bottle, because that's not where I wanted to jump to. For those of you wondering what happened to Yoshi's Woolly World Let's Play, it's currently on hold until I find the fucking game again. After I completed World 1, I misplaced it, and now I can't find it. Talk about the stupidest way to... How the hell did he not see me? But talk about the stupidest way to have an LP stop for right now. It's because I fucking misplaced it. Like an idiot. Oh, don't turn around. Don't turn around. Damn it. And it's over there, but once I find the game, I'll definitely get back to doing uh, Yoshi. But in the meantime, so in the, all right. But in the meantime, so in the meantime, uh, there's gonna be a lot of sly videos. Oh my. And then once sly is done, I definitely have a game in mind of. I do have in mind of the next game that I'm gonna be doing the let's play of. I know Chris is watching this, so I already told him what it's going to be, so I hope you guys are excited as I am for that Let's Play. This is going to be a bloody good time. Please don't be a guard. Please don't be a guard. Okay, thank God. Okay, one more terminal. Oh, what the hell? That was stupid. The only guard in the vicinity and somehow everyone else is alerted speaking of guards oh shit God damn spotlight all right last security station key we are gonna need okay oh come on What the hell? Thankfully, it ain't hard to outrun them. For this one, do we gotta get... I think we have to get all the way up there. So you wanna... Move, move, move. Damn, he got there. 
are fast. But we are just as fast. And where are we? About 16 and a half minutes. And oh, look, the tank's back. But about 16 and a half minutes. So yeah, I will be able to get all three missions done in this video. And we have an easy entrance right back into the prison. So yay! No footage cuts. I just gotta figure out a way to get up there. Which I believe we have to get along the prison wall. Oh, shit. I didn't know you were gonna come back on that attack. Uh, that, that stupid guard, he really thinks he's gonna do something from down there. Oh, crap. Oh, there's bells. I didn't even notice that when I was doing the... Conte the follow contestant mission. we have been able to use those to get the guards away. Eh, oh well. Now, can I make that jump? Oh, what the hell? Well, maybe there will be a footage. Oh, wait, no. There's a little fucking. I don't even know what the hell you'd call this pipe. That I can climb up. Is there a clue bottle top here? No, there's not. Let's see if I can make the jump. Nope. Well, then. This just became a lot more interesting. Watch as Cattle Sherby tries to make one impossible joke. Oh, damn it. Actually, just jump up. Get on the spotlight. Of course, it's a fu Are you fucking kidding me? Wow, what a disaster that just turned into. I cannot believe his flashlight extended all the way out to the top of that spotlight. God damn it. And while I'm here, I might as well just get this clue bottle. Oh, man, I can get right back up here. Sweet. You don't have a shiny pocket, so die. Finally, we can start the last mission. Okay, Sly, that's it. The Contessa's giant attack robot. Look, Bentley, with all due respect, it looks an awful lot like a water tower. Don't be fooled. That's what she wants you to think. If we try to free Murray while that thing is operational, why... What, we'll have plenty of fresh drinking water? I'm serious, Sly. Of course. I do owe you one. The lightning rods around the prison are designed to draw lightning strikes away from the water tower. And giant attack robots. Uh-huh, yeah. By turning the wheels on the rod, you should be able to redirect the electrical current away from its ground wire, rendering it useless. Follow the lightning strikes to locate all five rods. Okay, so you want me to break the ground circuit on all these lightning rods so that a bolt will strike and destroy the giant attack robot posing as a water tower. That's an accurate summation. Sorry, Bentley, that definitely looks like a water tower. What else we could look for, Bentley? Uh, the giant ass lightning rods that are just sitting there across the fucking level. Although it is a ch different challenge of its own trying to get up there. Holy shit. Is there a clue bottle on top of this? No, there's not. Now, of course, you obviously want to avoid the lightning strikes. So, I'd go. I'd either go quick or you can take it slow. Either way works. That's two destroyed. Where are the other three? There's one over there. 
one down there. I, obviously, you might want to get all the ones in the prison first before you want to get the ones on the outside. And god damn it. Game, you were really going to make me run across the, t the tower of the prison. Just to get to the other lightning rod. You dick. And there's one up there. Alright. Well, we now know where all five are. And let's not fail this jump, because I see a clue bottle. Well, actually, this kind of works. I get another one. But that is definitely not where I wanted that jump to go. I wanted to get on this pipe. Uh, and that's the problem I've had with just the series in general. You try to jump and latch onto a pipe that's high up <laughs> from where uh, another part of the level is. And instead you go jump on a fucking wire that you didn't want to. It's like the only problem I've had with this series besides the stupidity of the guards. Which, if you think about it, really isn't bad for games. Because I'm not bitching about the plot. I actually like the plot of each game. Okay. We got time. Go, 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 go. Alright, there's three of them. And before we leave the prison... I want to get this blue bottle that's right here. Okay, with 24 of them now. Your peripheral vision is fucking terrible. Wow. I cannot believe you did not see me on <laughs> from the side. Now that we're down to two, it is going to be a lot more tougher to avoid the lightning strikes. God damn guards. Alright, it's going to the other one. Come on! God damn, Sly. Last one's out or that last one. Second to last one's out of commission. Ooh, another clue bottle. It's actually good. It'll save me a lot of editing time. Once we get done with this mission. I still I I still do have to go get all the treasures. Okay, I already got that one on the safe house. I see shiny pocket. I see shiny pocket. I get greedy. Damn. Broke ass motherfucker. But you got a gold pocket watch. I'm gonna get a lot of money once I get back to the safe house. Oh, look, another clue bottle. Clue bottle number 26. How do I get up there? Uh oh. Uh, stupid fucking guards. Oh, come on. I definitely hit him towards the edge. Game, why you no response? Alright. This is actually a pain in the ass. I probably should not have left this one for last. I mean, if you want to get zapped, go right ahead. Goodbye. <laughs> yeah. Just jump there, and with that, mission complete. What the fuck? But why would she just have it sitting there doing nothing? Use the damn thing, Contessa. Thanks to your recent efforts, we're ready to attempt a Murray rescue. I call this plan the Trojan Tank. Step one, we use the Contessa's keys to steal one of her tanks. I'll jump in and drive while you keep out of sight by crawling underneath. With some luck, the guards won't notice anything out of the ordinary and open the prison gates for us. 
we casually roll in and then blast the security doors to Murray's cell block. Once inside, you'll need to improvise your way up to the guard control center and open the doors leading down to solitary confinement. Let's hope Murray hasn't cracked under the Contessa's hypnosis. Hopefully not, because that means we'd have to fight our own friend. Oh, wow, the operation is literally just right outside the safe house. But we have four blue bottles to obtain, along with three treasures, so... I will see you guys at... Well, I'll see you guys when we get everything else we need. I am explaining this horribly, but... I think you get the idea. I'll see you guys once I get the last four clue bottles, last three treasures, and then at this at the vault. So finding the last four clue bottles and the last three treasures took almost 20 minutes. That kind of shows you how big this level is, too, if you really think about it. I mean, really, I knew where all three treasures were. I just couldn't figure out where the last two clue bottles were. And that took me probably like 10 minutes. What? Oh well, here's the Contessa's fault. Let's see what we got. You need an IQ of at least 140 to figure this one out. That Contessa is smarter than I thought. I believe the code is 248. Oh, what's this? I don't remember what this is. Long toss. Oh, okay, I think I know what it is. It'll, it'll let you uh, throw items farther. We don't have any right now it's because we don't have the alarm clock. But anyway, that's going to do it for this episode of Let's Play Sly 2 Band of Thieves. In the next video, we pull a prison break with on Murray. I will see you guys then.